Hello, everybody. A warm welcome from Berlin. This is another series of the Watson Air Ops Explained. And today we're going to talk about how to automate a problem resolution process. So thinking about there's a known issue that is uh, happening on a repetitive way. You resolve the, the thing with the same procedure again and again, and you want to automate that kind of issue. That is what we're talking about. And for that, we do have today Arthur with me. Please say a few words about yourself. Hey, thank you, Fred. Hey, everyone. Arthur Demagolis here. I've uh, been with IBM 14 years, uh, worked on lots of projects with uh, WebSphere, uh, most recent with uh, Watson AIOps as the automation architect. Thank you, Arthur. Very good. And you're based in Toronto, aren't you? That's right, Toronto, Canada. So from Berlin to Toronto, that's quite a difference. And you also said it's really freezing at the moment versus <laughs> we have bright sunshine here. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, we have a nice spring day of minus 10 Celsius. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's kick it off. What are we going to talk about? The agenda of today, we want to briefly introduce the cloud pack for what's now Ops version 3.3 which has just been released. We are going to highlight what it is in a few sentences and just think about it that we have installed the Cloud Pack for Watson Ops already in your environment. It's deployed and it's been integrated into your local systems. And uh, then we're going to talk about stories, how they occur. We're talking about policies. What's the use case for that? Going a little bit into runbooks, so runbook automation, and then how to actually automate this kind of issue resolution process. That's what we want to do. And of course, besides PowerPoints, we also have a demo prepared. That's where Arthur is going to take you through. And if we match that with our current capabilities, this is a overview of the new capabilities that we have in the Cloud Pack for Watson Air Ops version 3.3. And there is one new capability added into the Cloud Pack for Watson Air Ops, and that's here the runbook capability. That's now fresh on this side. But everything else is, as you know it already, we do have here on the left side a number of intake channels. So we're capable of uh, taking in structured and unstructured data, for example, events, log files, metric data, but also topology data, but also interesting data, for example, like weather information. And we're capable of processing all these different vectors of operations, making sense of that, relate the data, that's what we do here. We do have a mitigation process in here to make a common format out of that. And we do have central processing capabilities in here. And then we have here on the right side, the user interface with a chat ops type uh, user interface, for example, or the dashboarding capabilities, all the administration capabilities in here. We do have a set of APIs into our capabilities. So for example, there's an API for event management, there's an API for runbooks, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, we do have pre-built integrations. For example, if you want to integrate with a travel ticket system, something like IBM Control Desk or anything else, these are existing integrations that we can do out of the box. So that is the, the overall scenario that we're working with. Just to briefly introduce the problem that we're addressing today, think about you are a site reliability engineer, and as such, you want to improve the level of automation. You want to improve how your IT environment is working, and therefore you're seeking these kind of improvement measures into that kind of environment. So you're seeking of problems that are repeating, resolutions that are addressing these kind of issues and that's exactly what you want to do no there is a specific group of problems or events and you do have a resolution process which nicely addresses exactly this kind of problem then that's something you want to automate because there's no need for a manual intervention. This is something you can nicely automate, and this is something that you as a site reliability engineer are looking for, that your first responders or your operators do identify these kind of use cases for you, and you want to automate this kind of thing. And that's where I'm going to hand over to Arthur. Arthur, over to you. Great, thank you, Fred. 
Let's get right into it. We are working with a bank that's facing outages in a critical user-facing application. They have invested in a variety of tools to tackle these outages, but they're finding that the time it takes to diagnose, execute, and confirm resolution of the incident is still causing significant revenue impact. They have asked IBM to help reduce the mean time to diagnose and resolve this instance while leveraging the technology investments that they have made. Let's take a look at the Cloud Pack for Watson AIOps 3.3 solution that we have put together to help this bank be more successful. We can see that the Cloud Pack has ingested the topology that represents the bank's critical application, from the hypervisor, through the database, all the way to the front user application. And the green checkboxes represent that there's no active alerts or incidents associated with any of these resources. Now let's take a look at the Automation Hub and see the assets that we have imported which allows us to work with these as native artifacts in the Cloud Pack. We then wrap those automation actions into runbooks, which are basically a set of automation steps that you can execute and provide feedback upon. The final step of this one-time setup is to create policies. We have one policy that raises any alerts that have to do with our resources into incidents, which in AOPS is called a story. And then we have two other policies that associate runbooks that will remediate certain problems. In this case, to deal with the hypervisor issue and with Nginx issues. We can see that the outage has occurred. So we switch to the resolution hub, which shows all the alerts that the system has detected alongside metric anomalies that AIOps has raised. The SRE team can switch into the stories view, which filters down all those alerts into a set of incidents. And this shows the significant noise reduction that we created for the SRE team. When we go into a story or incident, we can see the probable cause alerts, which are the root problems that occurred and caused this incident to happen. We can also see the recommended runbooks to remediate the root problems. So as an SRE, I can quickly run this runbook. And after it runs, I can provide feedback and comments on the experience. I can see that the alerts have been now cleared and the story has been put into resolved state. As the SRE, because I gave this a high rating and success rate is 100%, I can further automate this process by going to the policy that associated this run book with this alert and edit so that it runs automatically the next time this happens by clicking this flag. This means that the next time this incident occurs, this run book is going to be automatically run without me having to go into the story view and clicking run. So as an SRE, I don't even have to be involved in the next outage. Things are going to be automatically fixed and resolved for me. Thank you, Arthur. That was really, really cool. I, I really like the way you presented the cloud pick for what's now ops. This gives a nice overview of how all these new capabilities to work together in one cohesive way. We want to thank you for the preparation of the demo system, as well as the slides, your attention, of course. And we want to thank you, the audience, for your time you have spent watching this video. And we'd like to see you another time in another video of the Cloud Pick Forwards and Elves Explained video series. Thank you. Thank you.